JBR, I'm Landon. And I'm Allison. And we have a great show lined up for you this week. We're going to be kicking it off with a sports recap. We're going to be covering digital portfolios. We're also going to be bringing you a digital Christmas card that we're sending to our active military in Cuba. And a brand new segment from the intro class. Also, we have a brand new big question. So enjoy the show, BR. And here's Michael and Katie with your sports recap. Hey BR, I'm Katie. Ben Russell's very own boys soccer team had tryouts this week, Monday through Thursday. Over 50 boys from grades 9 to 12 tried out, with only 44 spots available. Best of luck, guys. Watch out for the list next week. Also, everyone come support your Ben Russell Wildcats football team this Thursday, November the 5th at Ellick City Sportsplex. The Wildcats will have the vigorous challenge of taking on Saraland for the first round of playoffs. Hope to see you there. Hey BR, I'm Michael. BR softball team is having tryouts this week, and we have an exclusive interview with the new coach, Hagen Vickers. Let's go. I'm here with Miss Vickers. All right, how do you feel this season will go being your first year coaching? I'm excited. I think it's going to be a really good season, and since tryouts, I think we've got a lot of talented girls that are going to be out there, so I'm really excited about it. Do you have any previous experiences with softball? Well, I played from the time that I was like five and even played two years of juco ball out at CAC, so a little bit. <laughs> All right. And any messages for the girls trying out? Um, I'm just excited, and I hope they are too. I love this sport, so I hope they love it as much as I do. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any yearbooks left? Round one, fight! <laughs> Let me have a look. Get your own, you have until November 13th to order yours. Really? And here's Haley with information on your digital portfolios. On November 16th, you'll get info from your teachers about the intro to your digital portfolio. Take a look at mine. Don't copy it. Hey, I'm Haley Forbes, and I'm a sophomore at Benjamin Russell High School. One day I would like to become a nurse, and this is how Benjamin Russell self and me reach my goal. And here's a segment from one of our intro classes. No, it's not. This is mine. What number is it? 193. You see, mine is... You're right. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Um, excuse me! You can't park in more than one space! I don't want anyone to mess up my clean paint job. If you park in one space, they won't, but now that you're in two, they're just gonna hit you. Good point. And here's Haley with your digital Christmas cards. On November 12th and 13th, we'll film a video Christmas card for our soldiers overseas. Sign-up sheets will be in the main office. Film times will be Thursday, noon to 1, Friday, 11.30 to 1.30. Come be a part of our video. And here's Dr. Wilkinson with highlights from Wednesday's Business Expo. Today was our Business Expo, uh, and what we did this morning, we invited uh, anywhere about 50 to 60 um, random sampling of our business leaders in Alexander City. And we had a great turnout today. We had uh, over 40 business leaders uh, to attend our meeting. And the whole purpose of this meeting is to get their input uh, on what, what are going to be their needs from 3 to 10 years from now. What are their expectations of Benjamin Russell High School students. Uh, what are some critical skills that they need to have before they uh, start in their career field at their business. And then what are some things that we can do here at Benjamin Russell to help them out. Uh, they also did some drop-ins, so they got to see what we were doing in our classroom with active engagement and group work and uh, the eight C's of what we're trying to do and EBLs and, and PBLs. But then once we got input from them, I flipped it and asked them, okay, it's sort of like Nick Saban and Gus Malzahn. If you want a, a top blue recruit, a blue chipper, you know, as a, as a player or as an employee, then you need to start doing some things at early ages. So we look at it in four phases. One, exposure, where they come in in the ninth grade and 10th grade 
and they partner with a teacher and provide teacher the expertise in their field. The other thing is come and speak at our college and career fairs that we're having. And then the next part is called uh, hands-on experience where they, they allow students some job sharing programs and some internships. So it gives them that hands-on experience. The third part is called the investment. This is where the business, uh, after going through the exposure and the job shadow and the internship, they start seeing those students who they want potentially to hire. Then they offer them scholarships and where they'll pay for their tuition, their books, and all that stuff. In return, those people will come and work for that company for four or five years or whatever. The last part is the vested part. This is where, as a student at Benjamin Rosa High School, if this person has been recruiting me since ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, and they're going to pay my way through uh, junior college or training, then I'm going to be vested, which means I'm going to stay with this company uh, for a long, long time and be a very uh, loyal and productive um, employee for this company. And that's, that's the holy grail. That's what we want. That's a win for the business, and that's a win for the school. Students of the month, 9th grade, Brooks Farnman and Lauren Pierce, 10th grade, Ben Hendricks and Marika Johnson, 11th grade, Cameron Bice and Katie Thomas, 12th grade, Tanner Smith and Brianna Jones. Teacher of the month, Lynn McVeigh. And here's Lily and Adam with your big question. Studies have shown that bacon causes cancer. Would you still eat it? Look at me. Of course I'm going to eat it. I like bacon. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, duh. Yeah. No. Yes, I would still eat bacon because it's so good. Yeah, because I love bacon. I buy bacon every week. <laughs> uh, I really would. I love bacon. I mean, bacon the, bacon the best. <laughs> yeah, I still eat it salt or hard. Of course I'll still eat bacon. Bacon is good. Everything causes cancer for real. Yeah, because it's really good. No. I don't think so. Maybe. I don't know. No, I mean, I don't even eat bacon myself, and counselor, they haven't even found anything curable for it anyway, so, no. No, no, but bacon is good, but I know, no, because cancer is bad. Oh. Cancer is bad, okay? It, it needs to be gone, and I would not eat bacon. No more! No more! Yes. Because I love bacon. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for watching, BR. Hope you enjoyed the show. And remember, this has been your Ben, ben Russell, Russell Update. update.